nice here. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> we have a bar over here as well. Welcome, welcome aboard, Mr. Arnie. Aboard? <laughs> We're going to the private island in what? Florida. What the name? I don't know the name. <laughs> you don't know. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, one hit one. If you notice, guys, he is the logo on the polo. Absolutely. That home was built for Rene Lacoste. Oh, yes. Yep. Now, keep looking on the right-hand side. You can't see my light yet, but I want to show you this pile of dirt right here. You see this pile of dirt? Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Just kidding. Guys, we used to have a friend for a long time. Our good friend, Lee Majors, had a beautiful home on that line. Anybody know who Lee Majors is? Yeah? Yeah. Six million dollar man, absolutely. Well, he had a five million dollar house right there. He and his honey moon lived there for many years, but their relationship went south, they broke up. We found himself out in a cook house up for sale. Now, nobody bid on it for a whole year. He was upset about it. His realtor told him just love the house and sell the land. He wanted to know why. And they explained it to him, Lee, nobody wants to buy a house with major faucet problems. Side. <laughs> I want you to see this beautiful house though, this olive colored house right here, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's got white uh, trim and the black awnings on the back door back there. Guys, that is the home of the largest drug dealer in South Florida. <laughs> it is. I know this because I stopped by there this morning and got some things I need. <laughs> yeah, they built that house right there for the CEO of Walgreens. <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter, this is a family show. Right here, side, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to show you this yellow mansion over here because it is gorgeous. Unfortunately, I leaned in the way and you can't really see it. 
But this house belongs to the daughter of Wayne Heisinger. Remember we talked about him. Her name is Pam Heisinger. Okay? Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Keep looking on the right hand side. I like that house. That belonged to Wayne Heisinger's sister, Bonnie Hudson. Right? Now, I'm not finished. We're going to jump over here now. This house on the right hand side with the beautiful gazebo out back. That belongs to Stephen Hudson. Now, Stephen is the son of Bonnie Hudson, obviously the nephew of Wayne Heisinger. You guys see where I'm going with this? Yeah, that's long money right there. Oh, yeah. So, 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 no, 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 because they got too much money for that. So listen, Stephen worked for his uncle in another company that he started called Blockbuster. Do you guys remember that company? Yeah. Well, Stephen went to his uncle back in the day and said, Uncle, listen. Do you like we it? How was it so far? It's bleeding. Good. So Wayne has Zinga put a deal together that, that sold Blockbuster to a company called Viacom for about $4.9 billion. Dollars. That was a huge deal back then. Because four months later, Netflix came on the scene and changed the entire game. That's a true story. Absolutely. From Wayne's World for a second because I want to show you this other really cool house on the right hand side. That is so cool, guys. Now, these owners aren't famous, but they are smart. See, this property has a 25 foot setback requirement. That means they can't build within 25 feet, right? So they got smart and they built their living quarters on the second floor to take advantage of as much square footage as possible, right? It's also a smart design because if the sea level rose, it would just flow through and not damage the foundation. I think that's pretty cool. Look on the left hand side. This has to be one of the prettiest homes here, guys. This brick front mansion looks like it should be in New England somewhere, right? Well, it is an eight bedroom, 12 bathroom house. It sits on two acres of land, two acres. Beautiful oasis. Now, it is also for sale, but tonight and tonight only, I can get you guys into that for $3.2 million. That's right. You ready? You want it? All right, well, full disclosure, my love, that $3.2 million is a 10% down payment on a $32 million home. Just saying. Look on the left-hand side. All right, now, close your mouths. I know, I know, this is absolutely beautiful. This is a gorgeous estate, and this was the estate of Wayne Heisinger, our local billionaire. Now, there are seven single-family homes on this estate. Wow, that's estate, right? cool. Uh, mother's quarters and dog's quarters, and there are five more homes up here, right? But look at this three-tier bell tower. Guys, look at the detail on that bell tower. You see all of that? That is not paint. That is 24 karat inlaid gold. Oh, yeah. Now, Wayne Heisinger was an extravagant guy. He was our local billionaire. He could afford to be, right? But he was also a huge philanthropist. Now, Wayne Heisinger suffered with cancer for many years, uh, and he passed away in 2019. But a he told his family that when he died, he wanted them to put this estate up for auction. And he wanted every penny of it to go to charity. And that's exactly what happened. And we're going to talk about Chuck West. He's a local millionaire that acquired the property. But, I have, yeah, I have one more house. Guys, this is the Harry Potter Mansion. spoke with the uh, developers of Harry Potter World, he had them do that $22 million starter home and gifted it to Holly as a wedding present. Right? That's a nice uncle, right? Yeah, my uncle gave me a $22 rice cooker. of that famous movie, Cape Fear. You remember that movie? Well, they filmed it here and not in the Carolina, because Nick Nolte, who was the star, could not leave the state. He was on house arrest.
I'm just kidding, guys. Don't show up there. I'm working on it, though. I'm taking donations. Look on the left-hand side. This is a really cool house. Nobody famous lives there, but I love it. These owners wanted to preserve that beautiful tree in the middle of the property, so they designed and, uh, and built around it. Pretty cool. Now listen, I know that there might be some of you really serious about moving to Fort Lauderdale. This is a gym. And maybe you do want a place on the New River, and I'm showing you all these multi-million dollar homes. Well, I'm telling you that there is hope. There's hope. Look on the right-hand side. These condos over here, guys, these this olive colored building with the uh, white on it. Hi, guys. You can get a unit in there for $250,000. That's not a bad deal. That is not a bad deal. Now, these used, these used to be the dorms for the famous John Robert Powers School in Rockland. You know that school. That's where Christy Brinkley is from, right? Their original location was on the right hand side, that beige building right there. They tell me that the Jungle Queen used to break down strategically right about here. <laughs> Look on the left hand side, guys, this White House, beautiful home. They're almost done with it. Now, this is deemed historic because there's an original uh, building in the middle that belonged to that notorious gangster Bugsy Siegel. Oh, yeah. Now, ironically, right next door on the left, that yellow house belongs to our most famous mayor of Fort Lauderdale. Hi, Jim Noggle. Now, Jim served uh, about six consecutive terms in office here in Fort Lauderdale. Sit, sit, sit. You're going to get spanking. What's her name? Somebody tell me her name. Hey. Mooley? <laughs> She's like, what? What did I do? Alright, so guys, we are rolling into downtown Fort Lauderdale right about now. And if you look on the right hand side, you'll see the first establishment. That is uh, the Boat House. Really nice restaurant if you guys are interested in popping in for lunch or dinner. Oh yeah? Now, the Boat House is connected to the oldest hotel here in Fort Lauderdale on the New River. That's this green building on the right hand side called the River, Riverside Hotel. Riverside Hotel was actually uh, built in 1936 and when they did the ribbon cutting they hired a young actor named Ronald Reagan. He went on to be our first Reagan president, right? Keep looking on the right hand side ladies and gentlemen. This house is pretty special. I know it's kind of weird seeing it in the middle of downtown, but that white house with the green trim is called the Stranahan House. And that is the oldest surviving structure in Broward County. It was built in 1901. Native children here on the New River. Pretty cool. Alright, so we're moving right along. Most of the boats that you see here uh, are going to be available for charter. So if you guys want to gather your family or friends together, you can charter any one of these boats uh, on the river. Now this one coming up on the left hand side is called Musette. This is Musette on the left. I know she's an old girl, but I'm telling you she's finding ways to stay relevant, right? They do private parties. They do birthdays and anniversaries. They even do weddings. Guys, and as of 2020, they do divorce parties. Oh yeah, they're running a BOGO. If you got married and divorced within those 12 months, you gotta buy one, get one free. Oh yeah, business was booming. I know. All right, I'm just joking. Look, on the left hand side up here in front of us, guys, this is serious business though. This building on the left hand side, the beige one, it's called New River Landing. Now, I I'm showing you all these houses, but guys, this right here is true affordable housing, okay? They have great uni units in there all the way up, all the way up to the penthouse. Now, the penthouses go for 9 and 11 million, but you can get a unit in there for $100,000. You can, no. Th this, this is a building. This is a, a condo building. And you can get a unit in there for $100,000. True story. Now, that unit might be the size of a closet way in the back that overlooks the dumpsters, but location is everything. Right? Absolutely. I'm from Chicago. I'm not scared of a dumpster. 
Look in front of us, guys. We're going through our first car bridge. This is Southeast 3rd Avenue. Now, these bridges are pretty important to the uh, history of Fort Lauderdale that, that made us a true through city. This is a double span bridge, and it has a bridge tender. And we know all of the bridge tenders. So I need you guys to help me on the count of three, with as loud as you can, I need you guys to say hello, Mr. Johnson. Here we go. One, two, three. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Yep, something like that. Is he waving? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we know all of the bridge tenders. All right, so. Moving right along, look on the left hand side. I've shown you the oldest surviving structure. I've shown you the largest, the oldest hotel here. Now, now I'm going to show you the largest hotel. Hey, hey guys! And probably the most valuable land in Broward County. Look on the left hand side. That big white building beyond the trees, guys, that is the largest hotel. Last night they housed about 1,500 guests. They have great amenities. They give you free bars and cell phones in every room. If you check in early enough, you'll get breakfast, lunch, and dinner complimentary. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Broward County Jail. Now, they also tell you that there are lingering spirits 
that roam the halls at night. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah indeed. I'm saying to you. Bounce me. <laughs> All right, guys, keep looking on the right hand side. I want to show you something else pretty special. Especially you young folk out there. If you look on the right, just through the trees, there's a white building with a yellow overhang. It is called the Auto Nation IMAX 3D Theater. It is also the Museum of Discovery and Science. And you can guess, Wayne Huizinga donated that to the city as well. Now, this is a the beautiful Broward Performing Arts Center. That's where all the major plays and musicals and uh, musical artists come to perform. And if you look at this building right there, you'll see that it says Huizinga Pavilion. That is one of the last things that Wayne Huizinga donated to this fine city. Now you get a better idea on why we call him our local billionaire, right? He and his family have been involved with the communities, the charities, and our city uh, for many years, guys. Now I'm gonna tell you this. Wayne Huizinga <laughs> is the only businessman that ever started three Fortune 500 companies. One of them was Auto Nation, the other was Blockbuster, but his legacy, guys, is waste management. Did you know that? He was the garbage man. Yeah. And he grew it. Today, waste management is one of the most profitable businesses in the country. I say yay for the little guy, right? Absolutely. Now, Wayne is also amazing because he's the only guy that's ever owned three professional sports teams. Those teams were Florida Marlins, Florida Panthers, and what else? Miami Dolphins. Yes. Now the family still owns about 15% of those uh, organizations collectively, and they are still very involved with the communities here. All right, guys, we're coming up on another bridge. You're pros at this. I know that we're going to do this. This brick tender is going to be on the right-hand side, so at the count of three, we're going to give him some love. We're going to say hello, Mr. Johnson. Here we go. One, two, three. neighborhoods back here. If you look on the right hand side you'll see tons of uh, small vessels. Now these small boats are here year round and this marina is called Cooley's Landing. They cater to small vessel owners when these guys are not out on a, uh, on a trip when they're not uh, chartering their boats they live here. We call them liveaboards. Right? Cost them about a dollar or two per foot to dock there and they have access to electricity and water. And these are our liveaboard neighbors over here. All right, now keep looking on the right hand side because I want to show you something very odd, very peculiar. There's a pink house, you're going to see it, a pink house over here. Guys, I want you to see what's in the yard. Look at what's in the yard. Now listen, Richard, Richard Weiner is the original owner of this house. That's the new owner. She's our good friend. You see inside? Richard Weiner was the original owner and he uh, put that caboose in the yard because the city wanted him to upgrade his windows. And he said, oh no, 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 no. I will sit in this caboose and watch my house blow away before I spend that kind of money 